For Jesus, the cross represented his Father's will to save men from their sins. In the same way, our cross is also our Heavenly Father's will for us. It includes our daily responsibilities, like studying, working, or parenting, and so on. But as Jesus' cross meant salvation for others, so the cross we carry is also to serve others. And it's not meant to be easy. That's why Jesus called it a cross, not a cell phone. <laughs> However, when we take up our cross daily, we experience the life-giving power of God and victories in our life. Amen. In the mid-90s, there was a dental student named Christopher Ewan who fell into a promiscuous homosexual lifestyle. This led to drug abuse, which led him to become the largest drug dealer in the gay club scene across seven states. He was arrested with 9.1 tons of marijuana and other drugs in his possession. In prison, he began to read the Bible at the urging of his parents. Then he repented and accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior. But one day, the prison nurse passed him a note that read, HIV positive. He was devastated. It was like a death sentence to him. But Galatians 2.20 came to his mind. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live. But Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. After his release, he went to Bible college. Though he carries the cross of HIV, still, he continues to live a joyful life, helping many people struggling with homosexuality and drug abuse through his testimony and his singing. Our crosses are all different. But when we carry them daily, God will help us to experience his life-giving power in our lives. Amen. When we deny ourselves, take up our cross daily, and follow Jesus, we have true life. Amen. In fact, it's the only way of life. Look at verses 24 and 25. Could we read them together, please? For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. For whoever loses his life for me will save it. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world, and yet he loses all of it and carries out? If we try to save our lives by indulging our sinful nature and putting aside our cross, we might temporarily gain the whole world. But what good are temporary riches and pleasures when we lose our lives? Jesus' words are starkly clear here. Let's deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow Jesus so that we may have true life. Amen. It's one thing to identify with Jesus at a Bible conference like this, but quite another to identify with him in the presence of worldly people. But look at verse 26. If anyone is ashamed of me and my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his glory and in the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. It is a strong warning from Jesus. We must not be ashamed of Jesus, but deny ourselves, take up our cross daily, and follow him. Amen. Look at verse 27. I tell you the truth. Some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God. Jesus promises that those who follow him will see God's glorious kingdom in their lifetime. We experience heaven while on earth. We grow in Jesus. We know him better. And we see our inner person being transformed more into the image of Jesus. Amen. Moreover, our hope then is in the kingdom of God. Amen. In this passage, Jesus asks us, Who do you say I am? What is your answer? Jesus is the Christ of God. Amen. He went to the cross and rose again from the dead to give us salvation, eternal life in his kingdom. Amen. Practically, this means that we must deny ourselves, 
take up our cross daily and follow Jesus. Amen. This is the way to have true life. May God help us to deny ourselves, take up our cross daily, and follow Jesus. Amen. Amen. Can we read our key verse again one more time, please? Verse 23. Please. Then he said to them all, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself, and take up his cross daily, and follow me. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, uh, thank you for Jesus, who is uh, the Christ of God. Thank you for being everything uh, to everybody. Our Father, uh, if we don't know who Jesus is, please come and visit us so that we may know Jesus as the Christ of God. Father, and help us uh, each day that we may uh, deny ourselves, take up our cross daily, and follow Jesus. Uh, grow us as uh, faithful disciples and your servants. 